G'day YouTube, it's Michael Raw from Raw Raps yet again for another game review. I'm going to be reviewing uh, Kick the Buddy by Plagendary and um, actually they're named uh, Chill Feet. Chill Fleet actually on the App Store for some reason. I don't know why they've got different game, um, trade names. Anyway, um, <clears throat> currently it's sitting at number six. Um, best game on the uh, App Store, on the Play Store, sorry. And it's sitting, let me just double check something here. It is number, in the top 20 US arcade game on the App Store. And overall, uh, in games, it's in the top 50. So it's actually been number one and it's still um, producing, I think, something like 30,000 downloads per day. And around three and a half thousand dollars per dance. month per day for uh, revenue. Pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, so uh, this is Kick the Buddy. I hate this game. I'm gonna check out some of your other apps, alright? I hate it, but I have to give it a reasonable rating as far as apps go. Um, my personal opinion like um, is probably slightly different to the actual quality of the app and the different categories that I review. So as far as graphics go, as far as gameplay goes, as far as the hook goes, the addictive nature of this Nothing game, I've like got to tell you, it ranks pretty highly. However, <clears throat> I don't like this game, I hate it. I think it's, uh, it sends the wrong message, especially to kids. <clears throat> I've got two <clears throat> kids of my own and I actually don't like uh, the actual, I guess I'm going to say sinister nature of it, but... Um, for adults, it's okay, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of uh, stress relief, a little bit like a stress ball that you squeeze during the day at the office when you get your frustrations out or punching a punching bag. Uh, it's a little bit similar to that, So, but I personally don't want my kids playing this game and I don't uh, want to endorse it. Hey, give me all so that's just my personal opinion, I could be totally wrong, but that's what I believe. So, um, again, I hate this game, I hate it. But I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna review it for it. So, <clears throat> this is what you gotta do. You gotta kick the buddy. Exactly, exactly what it says on the team. Basically, tap the screen and get your frustrations out. Poor old buddy here. And he gets worse and worse the more you tap him. You can use two, two fingers if you like. You can actually um, swipe him across the screen. Whoops, didn't mean that. And if you put two fingers on the screen at the same time, you can just stretch him apart. Do that again. You can pull his head off. So you start off just by tapping. And he's always saying some weird quotes. Feeding back to you about how he's feeling. Now what was that? That must have been an advertisement. <laughs> Okay, so that's the name of the game. Now, if I, again, I don't really like this game, but I won't be playing it, but I'm reviewing it. So today, uh, I've played it a couple of times just to figure out what, what it's all about. But you get daily rewards. Am I gonna choose these claws? I'm gonna choose these claws. Okay. So there's a lot of in-app purchase opportunity in this game. So if you go to... Which is actually why there's such a good revenue on this game. I think they're making $3,000 per day estimated revenue, which is crazy stuff. Ooh, nice fingers um, you, got there. you can become a diamond member, so it looks like you can sign up for a year. And what do you get? 40 elements, 20 outfits, remove ads, $1,000 cash, 1000 or in app cash, 1000 gold every day, uh, 100 gold every day. This is an auto-renewable subscription. So this is a subscription you can do. Uh, a lot of games are going towards subscription-based gaming um, on the App Store and Play Store. It's been traditionally one of those things you get on, you know, the Xbox or uh, Switch or something like that, but oh, it's going me. more towards apps these days. You can add blood. I wouldn't subscribe to this game, I'll tell you that right Turn on blood to feel awesome, so $8 for that. Again, that's, again <laughs> that's why I don't want my kids playing it. Um, that's my world. And you can unlock ads, $8 to unlock ads. And that's probably one of the more expensive uh, unlock ad 
uh, options I've seen. So everything's really expensive in this game, but for some reason they're making some coin. So the formula Let's must go. be working, but I tell you what, as a, as a gamer, um, I'm not prepared to pay a lot of these prices. And, you know, please comment Let's if you are. Penis. Please comment if you love the game. I hate it. I think it's, I think it's a terrible game. Um, and I won't be playing it, but I think I'll have to review it a certain number of stars just given the quality of the, the actual production of the app. I think it's very clever. There's a lot of game mechanics in it. There's a lot of um, oh, back-end really economy good. in it. So they're, they're actually very clever in what they've done. So there's heaps of stuff you can unlock. There's um, stuff, as it says, and that's gold. So 22, 29, 30, 34 gold. You can get explosive objects, cold weapons, firearms, music, coffee, foods, liquids, appliances, you name it. So keep going through, it's all unlockable. Profile, you can get purchase more money or in-app currency. You can change wardrobe. So I guess that's Buddy's wardrobe, is it? Um, restore purchases, restore progress. Extras, so you can check your achievements, your rate the game, turn off sound, etc. Um, and decor, so you can change the background, etc. Again, for more money. So um, I'm not surprised this game's making money. I'm not surprised it's popular. And I'm sorry if you like this game. You know, more power to you. You know, there's no disrespect there. But I don't personally endorse this game, and I don't like it. <laughs> but you know, if I had have invented this game. I'd be very chuffed because um, as an app developer, it's a hit, definite hit, uh, very popular and um, okay for adults. Again, I'd probably put some sort of um, limit on who can download it, purely just out of integrity and out of um, moral uh, fiber. I don't think it's something that kids really should play out. Anyway, anyway, I've sort of gone on about that a bit too much. And this is my, so you can add, unlock um, the files for watching ads. You know, the ads in this aren't too bad, but there are uh, a few opportunities to add. But generally they're, they're self-generated opportunities, so um, they're not forced upon you, so you can actually have that option, which I think is actually quite a good thing, because people don't feel pressured into watching ads. So again, something clever that they've done. Uh, tomato. Let's do the tomato. Let's have it. And in order to use your unlock function, I can actually just use two fingers. So you just use, see how I've got two fingers on there? Poor old buddy's got tomatoes all over him. Anyway, um, you can, uh, there's, oops, what have I pressed there now? There's an ad. Why did that ad come up? Okay, so, and then you can unlock gold for another ad, so that's a 30 second ad. Again, it was my choice, I didn't have to be put that that first time. I think it's quite easy to hit that accidentally, so probably a little bit strategically placed there by the developers. I think a lot of thoughts going into the, uh, the clever game. I don't like it, but it's a clever game. And then had I invented it, I could be pretty proud, but, you know. Let's close that down. I don't want to. So I'd really like people's opinion on this game. I'd see what you think. You know, give it a play, give it give it a try. I think it's definitely worth a try. I can see why it's popular. Um, it's slipped down a bit in ranking in the App Store, but it's still reasonably popular on the Play Store. And it's it's making a lot of coin every day for the developers. So uh, well done, Plagendary and uh, what was the one? Something Fleet. This couldn't get worse. What was it? Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, stay tuned for my next review. I'll try to bring you daily yeah, reviews. I didn't bring one yesterday, so I apologize about that. Just got a bit busy. Um, and uh, please share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing you, I hope, a unique perspective on different games and a little bit um, of background in how they're, how they're developed and, and you know the addictive nature of them. Okay, stay tuned. I'll get... See you later, bye.